What's good everyone, it's your boy, your dig, 4 eyes 2 gs here, and following up on my quick little reaction video I did to the news yesterday, I wanted to do a more formal video for you guys about what the heck happened yesterday between Uzi and Cardi on Twitter and what could result from this. So let's get into it. Okay, so the Uzi and Cardi communities seem to be split about whether or not this is an actual beef or the two are trolling for attention. And although I don't think they're beefing, as I said in my video yesterday, one thing for sure we don't know is exactly what is going to drop or happen on Monday. Right now, we're limited to very select information, so I want to break down exactly what we know, give you guys both sides of the story and all possibilities that fans are talking about so you guys can make up your mind because I don't feel like pretending to know exactly what's going on or happening or what's going to drop because realistically nobody actually knows so let's begin with what actually happened okay so playboy cardi drops his first single at meh along with the music video and this cover art right here lil uzi once it drops tweets just meh with an album cover that interpolates cardi's as you can see here they're very similar instead it's been slightly altered to feature lil uzi and some other props playboy cardi then tweets monday in his hieroglyphic two-year-old writing indicating that something is possibly dropping on monday after this uzi tweets directly at cardi's saying quote so you drop in monday bet it and a smiley face and then tweets monday copying exactly how playboy cardi spelt it now that's exactly what happened in the exchange between uzi and cardi yesterday now in addition to this we also saw generation now lil uzi vert's label comment on a post asking fans if they think uzi will be on a whole lot of red with a demon emoji which was interesting and a lot of people took notice of and also we did see ian connor quote an older tweet of his about him wanting uzi and cardi to drop on the same day saying that i know things would turn out this way which fans took as further confirmation that the two are dropping in some form on Monday. Now, this is pretty much all the concrete information we know of right now. Firstly, I'm going to discuss the possibilities if they're not beefing and this is a collaborative effort to get attention, and then I'm going to discuss the possibilities if the two are beefing. Again, although I don't think they're beefing, I just want to give you guys both sides and all the possibilities so you guys can make up your mind. Let's preface this by saying that Uzi has cleared up multiple times in the past that Uzi and Cardi weren't beefing at least at those points in times or at least that Uzi wasn't dissing him on EA. I do feel like that information is important to include. So if they're not beefing and this is a rollout idea to get attention, fans have pointed out to the tweets featuring the letters M N D Y capitalized, which if you use your imagination spell out me and you. So people have read between the lines and kind of theorized that both of them decided to tweet in the same manner with the exact same capital letters that kind of spell out me and you that they collaborated in some way for a drop. But what that drop is, we're not sure. Some fans have alleged that Uzi is going to hop on a remix to the At Me song. This is because obviously the two artworks are very similar, which would make sense for a remix. And also, if you notice in the video of the At Me song, there are very glaring blank cuts that pop in and out of the video, which is bizarre to see in a final finished video, especially from such a big release from a big rapper. So people are thinking that this hints towards a remix being possible and that the black cuts that we see are really Uzi parts in the video, which will be revealed when the remix is dropped. And also, it's important to remind you guys about the Generation Now comment on the post about Uzi being on a whole lot of red, and that would also make sense in this case. Another theory by fans is that 16 times 29, the collaborative Uzi and Cardi project will be dropping Monday. Honestly, although I would love for this to happen, there isn't really anything that supports this as a proper theory outside of wishful thinking. It would also be a very confusing business decision if in the middle of Cardi's rollout for a whole lot of red, just after he drops a lead single for the project, he drops a collab mixtape. Again, not completely outside the realm of possibility and it would be crazy if it happens. Some fans have also pointed out that the textures of the 1017 Versa World, the collaborative mixtape between Uzi and Gucci and the cover he revealed kind of look the same and you guys can see them on screen right now if you look at the textures they are kind of similar which some people are interpreting to mean that it is a collab tape because that collab tape uses the same texture again this doesn't confirm anything i'm not even sure if this is deliberate or a coincidence on behalf of the artist but it is something people are saying and another possibility again pointing back to that comment from generation now is that some uzi and cardi collab track will drop on monday that isn't a remix but it is a single or a song or something from a whole lot of red that features uzi and cardi that will drop on monday which is another very real possibility 
possibility. Okay, those are basically all the scenarios if they're just trolling and they're using this all for attention. And before we continue with the possibilities, if they are beefing, I wanna give a couple quick shout outs from my Instagram. Yo, shout outs to the live stream squad. Shout outs to Aiden, Think Deeply, X7 Jordan, The Run 66A, Ryan730, X Chris, Unclipped Foreskin. Yo, live stream gang, thank you guys for tuning into the live stream. Thank you guys for showing me love over on my Instagram. At your dig, make sure to go for all your boy. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to go live a lot more now. Make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video. Also, you can see my Cardi Uzi Travis merch pieces on screen right now. Link in the description to cop if you're interested. But let's continue with the video. If it turns out that they're beefing and then going head to head, again, for the record, I do not think this, but it is kind of important to flesh out both sides of the argument. What fans are pointing towards to support this idea is this tweet from Uzi a little while back saying, When he drops, I'ma drop again. Now, when he tweeted this, a lot of people took this to mean that Uzi was talking about Rich, whereas some fans thought that he was talking about Cardi. Now, if you're on the side of the fence that calls this situation a beef, you would interpret this tweet as a precursor and a foreshadowing of sorts to what's going on here, and that on Monday, Uzi and Cardi are going to drop respective songs that are quote unquote competition, and it's going to be a spiteful drop from Uzi. Again, referencing that tweet, Cardi said he's gonna drop on Monday, so now Uzi said he's gonna drop on Monday. And some fans have speculated that maybe even with the artwork from Uzi, this could be a diss track towards Cardi considering that the title he put is Just Me, a contrast obviously to the Cardi song At Me. What fans are also pointing towards are these tweets from Uzi and these tweets from Cardi leading up to the drop. Obviously it was very random of Uzi to tweet this and there isn't really much to grab on from these tweets, but then Cardi's were a little bit more direct and it seems that he was speaking to someone and saying that he can't have beef with them. This in tandem with the lyrics on the actual song At Me that he dropped, essentially where Cardi clearly has some very strong emotion towards someone he doesn't like and is kind of saying, look, I don't mess with you, these people People are just talking, they ain't real, etc, etc. People who believe that this is a beef are taking these lyrics and these tweets from both of them as subliminals at one another. Now, I would also like to mention this exchange of DMs that are going around from someone to Playboy Cardi, where apparently Cardi said that Uzi blocked him on Twitter. Now, I want to say these are unconfirmed to be valid at this point in time. They could be fake, they could be manipulated, so I'm not going to put any stock or add any validity to these DMs because I just don't know if it's photoshopped or they're even real. And guys, if you made it this far into the video, comment your dick down below shout out to you for watching the full thing and shout out to everyone on screen right now who did it on my other video big ups but let's finish it off but yeah right there are kind of the two different perspectives and all the information and possibilities that we have right now make sure to let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did put a lot of effort into researching all this information so if you could like the video that would be much appreciated also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new i'm pumping out the content for y'all also as i said link in the description for my cardi uzi travis merch pieces and there are more videos of mine on screen right now make sure to check them out if you haven't